Welcome back guys. So this time we're gonna wrap up the wiring, finally get this dash done. And I need to figure out what we're gonna do for the battery tie down. I might be getting rid of the box, just to make it simpler. So we got this terminal block. Didn't have a way to actually <laughs> attach it to anything, so right now it's just zip tied. I'll come back later and fix that, but it's gonna work for now and for a while. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, the other thing I did was so I got the resistor all buttoned up over here, and then I put this style of connector on it. <laughs> and immediately after doing that, I realized, hey, <laughs> that probably needs to be protected. So I gotta cut that off and go get a protected one. Okay, I'm attempting to get refocused. <laughs> so, got a new list. This week, I am going to try my best to follow this list that I made. So, the first week in our list, <laughs> finish up the wiring. Also need to adjust the radiator. I need to move it back up because it's way too low. We gotta set up the fan relay and that means wiring everything back into the harness for the fan, uh, which is like the last thing for the harness, I believe. Back inside, we're gonna finally cut the dash, mount the starter switch to it, try to find battery tie down, figure that out, and uh, we will have it all wired up. Uh, but that's that's the plan Let's see how well we can follow it <laughs> and how much we can get done. It's got this new chase base um, radiator cap because I needed one and It's a high pressure cap Which means that I should have the same boiling point roughly Running just water as I would with a normal radiator cap running 50% coolant I'm gonna add clean out the car to this list <laughs> for this week also so I got the radiator up, up at like two inches or an inch and a half or something, but now it might be slightly too high, but I think I can take enough out of the underside of the hood to actually clear this. Um, because it's almost about even with the uh, support for the hood. So I don't know what's actually going to happen, but obviously here's our hood line. Um, there's a lot of shit we need to cut out of the hood, so it's not that big of a deal. So I need to finish uh, wiring this up. So we're gonna cut this off here, uh, but I need to go look up how to actually use a relay. <laughs> um, I pulled this wire out uh, for the harness, and I know that it's the ground. So it activates on ground. Um, I know that stuff means stuff, and obviously I should probably know what it means, but I don't off the top of my head, so don't judge me, I just gotta go look it up. Um, but once I get that figured out, um, we'll hook up these wires. Then I bolted this up here, just for a little wire loom hanger. Um, these are all the extra wires coming off of the harness, it's pre-programmed for like four functions but this is all the extra IO. Uh, I have no use for it right now and I don't even want to think about it right now. I'm sure I could find uses but that's gonna be way later so I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> okay so there's been a slight change of plans. Um, I'm still gonna try to get all the stuff done that I said I was gonna get done this weekend but uh, tonight Rick's coming over to help me uh, measure the drive shaft but uh, Rad Dan has Finally hit me up. Um, we're waiting to get the okay from Gear Wrench, but hopefully he's coming over soon. So I need to clean this damn garage out, <laughs> get it organized. Obviously we partied over the holidays, we got beer boxes everywhere, but that's the least of the problems. Um, I got tools everywhere, we got stuff everywhere. Yo, all right, Rick's here, so we're gonna measure the uh, drive shaft link that we need. <laughs> okay, so what we're measuring is we're measuring from the face of the transmission output shaft to the face of the rear differential flange, which is 35 and 3 quarter. And then what's going to happen is, is when I give those measurements to the driveline guy, he knows the distance of the yoke and he will make it to where the yoke is basically input all the way in with three quarters to an inch of uh, in play and um, be able to give us a little bit of slip in there 
for when we go to slide that thing all the way in, we got enough clearance to actually install the drive line and then slip it back onto the rear um, face of the flange of the rear differential. So 35 and three quarter inches is the measurement if you want to write that down. Yep, did it. Perfect, and that's it. Just got back from O'Reilly. Let me show you what I got. I already started putting some of the stuff on just to make sure that it worked. Got the whole like coolant system mocked up. Um, there is an issue, and I don't know if you can really see it. Let's see if I can get, get some focus going on in there. No, it's too dark. Too dark, too dark, too dark. Come on, focus. Oh, we're almost there. I don't know where it's at though. What am I looking at? Oh, right there. Um, right there. That's the tip for the hose for the steam port tube. I don't know if I can bend it a little bit or what. Getting it to work is gonna be the cheapest option. So originally I got the upper hose the same diameter as the lower one. The lower one seems to fit snugly and fine. Like you can clamp it down and it'll work. Um, I don't have to force it on there. The other one, I got the smaller size because I needed this adapter to fit in here. And this thing is a bitch to get on. But luckily, <laughs> I was able to cut it up and actually make it work because if not, then, you know, It'd be out like $30 worth of hose because can't return it once you cut it. So, got these two things to work. So, if you are curious about running a dumbass setup like me, 21531 and 21390 for the upper. And you can run your stupid truck water pump to this coil rad. I don't recommend doing anything like this. But if you are going to do it, there's your answer. You have to cut this one about right there. And then the other one, you just need to cut a little bit off of that. And it's a tiny bit bent out of the shape that it wants to be. There's a crease right here. But it's not, it's like so minimal that it's not going to make a difference. Um, this lower one. I probably should have got the slightly smaller hose, and it would have been shorter. So, I'm going to just keep this one, and if it leaks, then we'll go back and get the other one. And then this guy, a little $8 little overflow tank. I didn't even know that O'Reilly's had these, but it's a whole ass kit. comes with a clear tube. I bought this black tube thinking I can run it for the seam port, and it just didn't work, but I'm going to use the black one so it matches. We don't have a weird clear tube going in here. Um, this thing though, you can run it in any direction. You just cut it off. Um, it comes with this little mount guy that I'm going to take the headlight off and mount it where the headlight bolt is and then cut this hose down and should be good to go. Got me a normal battery tray. So we're just gonna go that route. It doesn't fit inside the box. But I'm not gonna worry about it right now. <laughs> um, and yeah, I used uh, like, what is this for? This is for irrigation plumbing. The Like if you're doing sprinklers. PVC pipe cutter, I think. Anyway, it worked. It was a pain in the ass, but it worked. Uh, hopefully these guys are going to get small enough. Um, I might actually have to go back and get smaller clamps. <laughs> well then, let's see, you got the battery, battery hold down. Bunch of clamps. Got some terminal protectors. Got that fuse that I needed. And more, and more wire. And then we got these uh, covered, uh, co covered connectors. So I already did enough running around and, and working on it today. So I mean. It's all buttoning stuff up. I just wanted to make sure I had the parts that I needed for um, the weekend. But I mean, I might get all this stuff done before then, and then spend the whole weekend doing the uh, the dashboard and cutting everything out, right? Um, but it's moving along, so I'm stoked about that. Um, and really glad that I got the radiator hose thing sorted because I wasn't looking forward to doing that. And luckily, uh, someone 
was working at O'Reilly. Um, you know, it's hit or miss when you go to the parts store because sometimes people are like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. If you don't have a model number then or like a year make model, I can't help you. Other times you get people that, like I had today, um, just, you know what, why don't you just come back here, just look at all the radiator hoses, go ham, do what you want, measure them, here's a measuring tape, um, and then hopefully you get it sorted out. But I did have to go back twice, or I had to go back again because I got the wrong size. But, thankfully, you know, um, sometimes you get to do these things at these stores, and it's super helpful. <laughs> So, shout out to O'Reilly for hiring people that let you get shit done. Uh, hire more of them. <laughs> uh, Alright, other than that, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, still trying to figure out when I can get down to the shop to smash the headers, but if I can get all this other stuff done, then I'll go down there on Saturday, and we'll do that. Um, yeah. Right, update you guys uh, next time. Boom. All right, guys. So this relay is not wired correctly, but <laughs> it is technically all wired up. So we got the fan wired up. I need to make this a ground because I'm just grounding the uh, the fan there. So I'm gonna run a ground wire to it because I didn't want to cut that one too, and then try to figure out where to go with it because don't want a bunch of wires flopping around this side. I went with fusing it and running that to the fan relay um, because on this end I'm actually going to run this to a switched power source. We're going to put a uh, power bank terminal in here, one, the same one over there. I'm going to put one of those behind the dash so that I can run the one wire I was going to the switch. I'm going to make it fused. And then we'll have a fused bank, um, which will go to the switch. Actually, I take that back. We're going to have it fused to the switch. The switch is going to go to the bank and operate everything on the bank. <laughs> I put the fenders on uh, loosely. They're not bolted down. Put the front bumper back on because I was going to put the... Uh, bumper on but I need some nuts so that's not gonna work right now and I was trying to make room over here so I can actually walk over here now which is nice but tomorrow we're gonna go ham on actually cleaning up some more stuff uh, broke down all my boxes over there uh, put a lot of the tools back but we still got some more work to do on that department um, get the battery in here need to actually bolt it all down um, but yeah, but mostly mostly just clean up. Um, one thing with the new tires, I actually had to clearance, had to clearance a lip in here. Can't see it. Sorry. Got a bit of poke, so which I actually like. So it doesn't it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, tomorrow morning gonna go smash the headers and then come back here. Um, put the headers on hopefully they fit right now and then or hopefully they'll fit right Hopefully by Sunday night. I'll have all this whole car wired and ready to go And if the headers fit right, maybe I'll fire it up one more time just to get the fuel moving again um, Yeah, we'll see we'll see what happens, um, but then we're gonna start putting fluids in this thing uh, Probably have the drive shaft here next weekend which means I can start doing the drive line too um, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, out at the shop. And uh, I'm gonna smash these headers. Alright, so I don't know how well it worked, but it moved a little bit, at least. You got any tips for using a torch in the wind? Yeah, lots of gas. <laughs> Alright, so we got a clearance a little bit, hopefully. Hopefully that's enough. Um, What'd you do? Broke a lift? Yeah, hopefully that's enough. If not, get the headers hot and uh, bend it on the car. Not broken. Okay, well, I don't think it was quite enough, but it's better than it was, except for this one. 
which I think we might have smashed for closer to the spark plug. Figure it out, get it sorted. It wasn't a huge deal, I just wanted to attempt it, um, just so we can get that part moving forward. But um, yeah, keep playing with it and see what I can do. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a torch here, which is the whole reason we went to the shop, so. Um, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. Uh, maybe uh, just, you know, give it a bunch of revs and let it heat up and <laughs> start bending it from there. But, um, anyway, I got, got ribs to make, I got more cleaning to do, and more wiring to do, so I will update you guys later, tonight probably. Um, I think I'm going to stream a whole bunch of stuff, and then... Yeah, then we'll uh, see where we're at tonight. Alright, so I don't remember where we're at on this. I, I might have updated you guys, but I don't remember. Um, but, wiring like 99% done. Got the dash back in. Switches mounted. Uh, display mounted. Everything's pretty much tucked away. So I want to finish cleaning out everything. Um, there's a little bit of cleanup left to do back there with the wiring because it's all just loosey goosey. But it's, I mean, it's just gonna happen, so I'm probably just gonna leave it for now. Um, and then I need to get a, a bigger um, tie down bracket because the one I got was way too small. Uh, and then I need to find some of these like boots that are designed for the side post ones because those ones are not even though I thought they were. <laughs> Steam port's all set up. Um, I bought a hose for this. Wasn't the right size so gotta figure that out again later. But everything's wired. Fired the car up again. Works so that's good. Um, got this all cleaned up. So I had to readjust the throttle cable because it just didn't feel right and I'm not sure if it actually opens the butterfly all the way. So we gotta figure that out. But that's a later time. Um, Battery tied down. Got all the wiring done right. Uh, should clean this up a little bit more but it's gonna work for now. Um, yeah, put the headers back on all the way. Uh, wired the spark plugs back up just to test fire it again. Uh, I need to put water in the radiator and put fluid in things so that you know I can fire it up more if I if I have water in the radiator and uh, power steering fluid. Um, but don't want to run it too long without that stuff. So anyway, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a super long video. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Leave a comment below. Um, this thing is just a couple weeks away from actually running. And hopefully pretty soon Red Dan will be over here and you know we can go through all that. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later.